taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for this afternoon, Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do, man? Shutterworth the guy, a.k.a. LB, Lauderdale Boss, Ring Gang, Radio.com. I almost fucking uh, messed up my intro. I had to pause. I'm like, ring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, I'm, I'm just out of it today. But yeah, shout out to everybody in the squad. Uh, we we going to have a good one today, folks. No doubt. World is a, the world is a op is out now. Always got to put that out there. So other than that, we good. Yes, sir. Ring gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. And I hope he's back from getting his water. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxer in the building. I got my water with me, definitely ready to go, staying hydrated on this nice hot day. So let's get it. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, man. So as we, we, we got to start off, man. So who's banned from entering the Bodega this week, bro? I might have to fucking ban Esparza from the Bodega because I'm here, in, I'm, I'm here last night chatting live in, in Twitter spaces saying, well, I'm going to watch women, this women's fight because I support women's boxing. Only for this out of shape, fat, Oh, to come in like that <laughs> and then like get a get a get a gift decision yeah nah banned um hooker might have to be banned too until he lays off the lays off the food and the skinny fatness get in shape then you can come <laughs> into the ball day oh god damn yeah this this nigga p got some bars you know what i'm saying and, yeah. and loki i agree with you man yeah i can't wait to talk about that as far as shit too man because that shit was that shit wasn't sitting right with my spirit either you know? hold on wait 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 you thought she got a gift yes Oh, word? Damn. The fuck y'all was watching? I don't know about 9 she, she got but... like She got like 10 rounds. She didn't win all fucking... Yeah, 9991 was crazy. Nah, she did not. Nah, the, the scores were trash, but yeah, I thought she won. I, she won, but like I'm saying it was a gift because she got so many fucking rounds, it might as well have been a gift. Yeah, and, and, and then Dazone and Golden Boy were complicit in the fuckery. So, yeah, I, that's where I agree with you. Like, as far as the one, but it wasn't no fucking wide shit like that. That was, that was the shit that was kind of... Mm-hmm. That, that's it's kind crazy. Of I just, I refreshed Twitter, and the first tweet I see is Marlon and Spars are spending six weeks in the gym just to be built like Danny DeVito on fight night will always amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, super bad like this. Uh, you know, I think I like this, too, because I, I kind of <laughs> agree with me. Hmm, take that. Yeah. Okay, and last but <laughs> last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. <laughs> man, don't even got to do it. Yeah, let's fly his conscious pot, the West Coast Avenger number one contender preparing for liftoff. Let's get it. Lazy Sunday, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Conscious pilot, man. You know, my man stays elevated above the clouds. You did. No turbulence. Oh, man. Yo, my eyes is already watering, yo. <laughs> the interview just got me, bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, we got we got to get into that recap though for sure. But first, we gotta you know we gotta talk about some we gotta talk about some real shit because you know every now and then you know bring in let's talk about some real shit because you know especially stuff that's like you know that's not only just fucked up not just for the culture but for like every goddamn thing. Uh, and then we we made you know we made mention of this on our last podcast you know talking about the whole Britney Griner situation. Now I, I mean unless you you're living under a rock. You know, Brittany Griner, you know, in the Russian courts just got a nine year sentence. Nine years for having Damn. for having cartridges of hash, you know, because you you know, you know, for, for a vaporizer. And I'm thinking to myself, like, are you kidding me? Now my thing is you know now now I do admit though she did have to be she she should have been a little smarter with carrying some shit like that because a lot of countries are not that way. I mean, even as the US is decriminalizing shit like this. You know, some countries are some next shit, and she should have never carried that shit with her. However, carrying that shit does not... I mean, she wasn't a fucking... You know, she wasn't carrying, like, a pound or two pounds or whatever fuck of of, of marijuana shit. Like, there ain't no fucking way that shit is... I, that shit I is looked it up. Nine anything, years. Anything less than, like, six grams or, so, or six ounces is, like, uh, like, a couple thousand dollar fine and 15 days in jail. Right. Right. Well, I saw this. I saw an article just re- like re- this, like last night, where like this older white woman, white, uh, got arrested in Russia only for two months. Yeah, and and it's and yeah, that's a fuck up thing. Like, I mean, 
I mean, look, if it was just, again, if you want to put her in jail for like a week or so, have her pay a fine, cool. Like, you know, I understand that. You know, it wasn't like she was out here, you know, tra trafficking large amounts of, of marijuana or some shit like that. You're like, no, it wasn't no high profile shit. But the problem was she was a high profile person. And this is, you know, and this is what's happening because of all the sanctions that are going on against Russia because they invaded, U invaded the Ukraine. And that was the whole reason. And the reason, and, and that's why Russia is doing that because now Russia wants to use her as leverage, you know, because Russia wants, you know, a whole bunch of niggas that actually did commit some serious crimes, like in a set, like assassins and shit, like niggas that should actually be in jail for life. Like, you know, weed assassin, weed assassin. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, and it's fucked up too because it's like, because yeah, they're pretty much using now she's high profile. And then the US officials have failed. Like, you tell me, like, you know, it's like, well, well it's going to be difficult to get her out of Russia, this, and we're having all these negotiations. She's been in Russia detained for, what is it? It's going to be like six months. <laughs> you know, it's going to be six Russia, months. Russia has come out and said that um they're not gonna let her go if the u.s keeps negotiating through the media because the u.s is leaking out all this shit uh, they're not happy about it they're saying respect our respect our laws respect what's going on over here and stop leaking shit to the media this whole fucking we'll twitter nba rumor shit going on bro like the trade offers are kind of ridiculous yeah 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 it's assassin and then an arms dealer too because an arms dealer who's actually serving a 25 year sentence in here you know, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, uh, like, 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 what kind of deal is that? Because it's just like, it's just, I mean, Russia knows what it's doing. It's it wasn't just no regular arms dealer. This was the fucking merchant of death. This was like the elite. This was like the Floyd Pacquiao arms dealing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, was gonna let that Netflix go. Netflix bill. It's a Netflix yeah. bill. Yeah, yeah, Netflix movie villain. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, <laughs> um, I heard they might have him uh, read, run some lines for the new Gray Man that's going to be coming out the sequel. <laughs> so, so, so who 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 knows what they was going to have him do? But right. so, and so yeah, like 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 they were saying, like it just the trades just was off. Like, but we knew once that was mentioned, like they wasn't going to get no trade for her. Right. Yeah, because I mean, Russia was like you know, because Russia obviously would have won the trade in this in this in this in this aspect, and it would have made the U.S. look like stupid like okay it, they were looking stupid just for mentioning that type of trade like it, it, exactly. we don't have the we don't have no russian athletes or nothing over here we don't like we we literally gonna give terrorists back for a damn basketball player that y'all don't even pay enough for here anyway it, exactly and that's the whole reason why she was in russia you know because she plays you know because the WNBA doesn't necessarily i mean with the exception of maybe one or two players maybe that you know they don't make a living off the WNBA salaries. You know what I mean? So now, now hold on, wait, 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 wait. Now that you brought that up, let's let's, let's time out now. All right. That doesn't mean that it's NBA players' fault. Yes, right. that, that is not, it, not it, the it, NBA's fault. What the? Fuck? It's not black people. That fault narrative. It's, it's not black people' fault either. No, it's I not think. black. It's not black men' fault either. Like, if we don't want to watch WNBA, that's our prerogative. Like just like how if a, a regular man don't want to watch boxing, then hey, that, he missing out. Right. But but somehow the media, instead of just making this uh, a deal, an issue with laws and the country and and the president and and all this shit, right? They trying to spin this on some low vibrational, low brow gossip column black woman versus black man type shit oh yes, if sir. it was lebron you would make a big deal out of it he wouldn't be here yes, and i'm sir. glad lebron made the point about if i was britney i would i would really consider about coming back to america i'd be on my haggler shit yes sir and, and get and my then, bag and go go to damn france or some shit italy something italy, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah something like that yeah and, and, and <laughs> another thing i definitely <laughs> want to bring up with that one too is because and this is, this is something that's always came to because like when all this shit was going down like a lot of the tra like i mean obviously brandon griner she was a whole she was a whole supporter of you know kneeling and not being you know not having the national anthem being played so when that shit all came to light that shit that was also shit that was used against us like well 
why you know so why should america help her like didn't she say she didn't want to stand for the american anthem and shit like that you know i was hearing that i was hearing that that talking point more often than i'd like to actually hear that like like you know so that's so that's the reason why she should be detained in jail for fucking but, 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 cartridges whatever. But but what about this whole LGBT my, uh, the alphabet mafia? How come they not standing up? Yeah. How come they not saying nothing or making a big deal? But yo, in real talk, be, they yo. always be trying to ride dick when black people are trying to come up and get something done. That's when they want to be like, oh, okay, let's attach ourselves. See, see and, and all you black gay niggas and, and lesbian niggas and all you motherfuckers. This is what we warned y'all about this whole intersectionality shit. Yes, sir. You motherfucking black first. Right. Because and when you take when you let them take the black away first, nothing else is standing up stronger than that. And you see this right now. Right. And the funny thing too is like they, they the, the whole they, they, they've been quiet. Like quiet. Like n- like yeah. The, yeah, no 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 protests, no decide, oh we're gonna, you know, we're going to uh you know, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do that. No, they've been and, silent. And let you truly know how they feel about her in this situation. And, and what, what's fuck. that? What's that old Chinese? Exactly. What's that old Chinese proverb? Um, no action is an action. Yes, sir. And, yeah. and there you go. Yeah, and and, and and you know, and like and like I said, the gay community they'll they'll protest against everything. Hell, like them the, those they they went ham over Dave Chappelle. And his transphobic jokes, you know, Tracy like Morgan, Kevin Hart, the, the list goes on. They go ham on everybody for some of the most meaningless little bullshit. Now y'all got like a whole ass nigga in another country that's supposed to be repping y'all life, and y'all ain't fucking saying man shit. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah, and she's what, what, what can they say though? What can they say though? This is this is a one nigga's dumbass mistake, nigga. You ain't know the laws to a country you went to. Niggas get locked up all the time. Look at Future. Course, Future went over to Dubai, something. lost Esco for a whole what? Lost his whole tape for a whole year. Had to make a whole new tape, nigga. You gotta know the laws when you go to these places, regardless of it's medical or whatever, niggas. This shit's different. You can't just go around no. thinking. Oh, I'm a celebrity. No, no one's just can't touch with me. that, though. No one's, no one's disagreeing with that. I'm oh, just... Rome Top 5 here to say some shit. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rome Top 5, Chicago Zone. Chicago Suda got in bars. He leaves these niggas in the breeze. Yes. Midwest what, Suda, what's you know what it is. What's poppin'? We here. We here. Green game. But, but nah, like, what? I get what you're saying. And everybody says that first. Like, right. I said it first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, you know, the media, we get it. She fucked up. But at the end of the day, she represents a group of people who have become social justice bullies. And they're literally the biggest bully on the planet right now. And they've been the quietest in this whole situation. Like, they not said anything positive or negative. Like, just nothing. Just they, they sat out really the biggest battle that they could possibly ask for. But you know what it is? The wrong, the wrong warrior is in that battle. That's right. why. Let right. her be white. Then it would have been. Oh my God! Oh, we have to get her out of here. Uh, if it would have been uh, Becky Griner or some shit <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of Britney Griner, you know, they would have got Becky Griner out. Yeah, yeah and that, and that's true. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, that's the energy. Like, I mean, I would have said. I mean, it's funny things too. I mean, it's it's celebrities. That, and most likely, because I know celebrities have been suppressed. Like I know Macy Gray, when she was going on a show for an interview or whatever, she has a shirt that she was about to wear. And they told her, like, nah, 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 bro, uh, you can't uh, you can't wear that shirt that says, you know, free Britney Griner shit like that. Like You see, black people have been riding for her the whole time. But somehow you got the media convinced certain segments of black people to think it's a man-woman thing or that black people as a whole hasn't been riding for her. LGBT don't give a shit about her. They're all them, all them Thank pronouns, you. he, she, they, them. Well, they, them just look at Britney Griner as a nigger. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's how all the way up to the presidency. All these motherfuckers was damn on Biden dick. This, that, that. LGBT did elemental P Q R S T U V. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. Everybody was all on this shit. Democrats was all involved. 
all that nigga explaining niggas is doing all the shit that oh this that that this is maybe the hundredth thing or one hundredth time they showed during this this um term that they can't do anything for black people. Right. Yeah, and and the and the only positive thing that they can say about this is when they have a diplomat go over there to see how she's doing. The only thing they can say is, "Oh, well, you know, she's she's six nine, so the beds are, are clearly too small for her, and then she's in good condition." <laughs> like, what the Yo, fuck? What, what kind of what, shit is that? What, do y'all know what happened with that? I heard there was a story where they said we was gonna trade a Russian nigga for Brittany Griner. What happened with that deal? They just went up with the flames or what? No, I mean, yeah, yeah we, we literally just mentioned that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I just hopped on. I just hopped on. Was, yeah, first was an arms dealer and then an yeah. actual assassin. Like, two people that are, yeah, merchant of death and then a nigga that actually kill people. You know what I'm saying? Like, in exchange for that. And no, none, of them, none of them went through. Niggas was trying to trade the damn, the Kobe and uh, LeBron or the fucking underworld. Oh, fucking, so it wasn't even. It wasn't even a deal. This was trade talks. This was like that Kevin yeah, Durant trade, shit. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what we can get for this. <laughs> they yeah. was trying to get a damn arms dealer, the merchant. <laughs> yeah, it's like an NBA, like we call yeah. a you know a <laughs> video game leagues a rate trade. Really and we would have lost it. hard on that trade. Let me too. let me this get an assassin. Trade, let me get an assassin, an arms dealer, and two first round picks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is, and like but that's how it was, though. Yeah, and and let's like say if the U.S. If, the, if any of those trades went through, I mean that would have pretty much been like that would have been like the apex of incompetency of Biden's presidency, and Biden has been wildly incompetent. Okay, it's okay, hold on. I just want God. I just want to say this because all the people saying, well, Trump would have got her out of there. Trump was just on record saying he couldn't, he wouldn't be able to help her. So let's not go there. Either. He says yeah. that now. No, nah, but no he one's can't. He, that shit. he he can't pardon somebody in a different country. Like this is dumb as fuck. Look, look, <laughs> Trump would have got her out. No, I'm just say that he. You All I know is basically blamed, blamed her. He basically nigga. blamed her. He basically Look. blamed Britney Griner for for being there with with, with drugs. Like He's Putin would have Putin would have talked to him. No, to do anything. No, nah, Putin would have talked to him and be like, look, look, nigga, we about to make an example out of this nigga. There's nothing you can say. And he would have been like, oh, All right, of course, I guess that's what it that is. Now. He's saying that now after the fact, after the bitch done been judged. I'm, I don't even mean to say bitch. I'm just like apologies, like. Yeah, it's just, just, it's just we on the corner, nigga. Right we now, like, this raw emotion. Right? Yeah, this is this is podcast banter, nigga. Suck it up. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, they want to suck it up, not me, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I'm talking about them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so so, well, they, of course, he has to say that now. He's not the president. He's in. A, he's not in a position of, of, of power to even really do that. To, to even do anything, of course, he has to say that now. No, he could yeah. easily say he could easily say, "Oh, I would have, I would have got her out of there to make Biden look even worse and make him look better." Of course, he could say that. Trump, well, that Trump, is, Trump, that Trump is, is like, like, he'll say. You dealing with some Bob Abram type of shit where a motherfucker could say something and say yesterday they was lying, today they telling the truth. It could go both ways. Like <laughs> you, he could very well say, "You know, I couldn't get her out. The fuck y'all want me to do? I'm not Superman." <laughs> but then no, no, no but then on the other hand people's like well goddamn you was just about to stop trade talks with fucking sweden or whatever to get asap rocky like <laughs> so it's like that's why no that's why even if he says that shit everybody already knows on the background level it's like yeah he says that out loud but look at all this shit you was about to do to another country just for fucking asap rocky right yeah yeah, and, 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 I, I, yeah, I, I, ASAP Rocky got no LGBT, none of that shit behind him, none of that. He, I, I forgot about that shit. I forgot that nigga was detained. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like, dude, like, come on, man. Like, he was out. He was out there whooping niggas. Exactly. <laughs> his shit was like way. His, his shit was way worse. He was out there putting hands on me. <laughs> Thank you. At the end of the day, and this is the thing, I'm not even riding for Trump. I don't. I didn't vote for none of these crackers. So I, 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 I'm I, not fucking bigging up either one. I'm just saying that as it stands, the country failed her and whoever the, is the president now is Biden. So of course I'm going to say Biden failed her. Home, the, the, the damn alphabet groups that be that, that Wait, so, fucking so uh, sec- failed her. 
So sentence means she there for good, right? For nine years. She, nine she done. years. Yeah, nine. Yeah. And it and it their appeal process is probably crazy. So I don't I don't think she coming home, man. What appeal process? I don't think they got no appeals process. It's fucking <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they might, nigga. nigga shit, shit, the the appeal might... process in America barely works. They'll get it done, and they'll just be a, those, you know, get an advantage of trade and probably some cash on the loan or something. You but know? shit, it's not, it's not a third world country. There's, there's got to be a way for her to refight the case or some shit. No, it's not a world, world third world country. It's a worse than a third war. world country. It's a dictated <laughs> country. The fuck, come by, ran by America. during a war. <laughs> Yeah, That's Russia, true. yeah, Russia. Everything, the everything Russia is is backwards because the more, the more but no, no, we not got- gonna we not gonna shit on Russia for that because look how many niggas they got in America locked up over the same shit. This is true. So nah, we ain't even gonna shit on Russia for All that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a this, way to look at it. Problem. Yeah, this is them niggas just problem. doing what we do. Exactly. Yeah, and, but in this but in this case, it's just, it's just the due process is just kind of wild, you know. For what the due process here, he, 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 the due process here is wild, right? And it ain't that Most many niggas in Russia. Up. It ain't that many niggas in Russia, so they've been waiting to lock a nigga up. Thank you. Mm. There's like they see all the stories about niggas getting locked up in America, and when they get their own over there, they're like, "Oh fuck, hold on, we gotta try this one." Hold on, okay. Yeah, let's let's lock us up a nigga and throw away the key. That's what, that's what yeah. we're tired of locking up our own Russian brethren. <laughs> Thanks, man. Come on, this this shit is just terrible. Like the country failed. Damn, all these motherfuckers just failed. Not nah, black people. No, nah, no, nah, we're innocent in all this. We're we're the victims here because we always ride for this country. And even if we protest certain shit, we still rep the country. So all the whole shit about her not kneeling and 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 speaking out against police brutality, like. Dude, this ain't this the country that y'all be seeing is free all the time and people died for our rights and shit. So we have the freedom of speech to to, to say shit that, that we disagree with the country being on and then we attack for that. So it's like, like you can't win. Black people can't win. You can't win. win. You, you can't win. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like, like I said, the, the whole thing is just, it, I mean, it, I mean everything, I mean, like I said, I mean, but I mean, it does, you know, it is heartwarming to see black people coming, you know, actually the ones that celebrities try to use a celebrity to actually do it, but like the but the, the people that, so, that are really supposed to have Britney's back like that failed. The government failed, yeah. the LGBT crowd failed, they all failed, like it's, 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 it's horrible. Media, the media failed for trying to paint this into something else. This would have never happened to a nigga in the NBA because look, Brittany Griner raw as fuck. She like equivalent to like a, a KD, Chris Paul in the WNBA. Like she top level fucking all star. You telling me if Chris Paul got locked up in fucking Russia for a pick, nobody would go grab that nigga like that? Like come on, this WNBA is fucked. Y'all niggas need it back in. This is, y'all need sponsors. <laughs> y'all need to get on TV. <laughs> Yeah, like I mean, yeah, but see, because then then China would have got involved. It'd be like Chris Paul, no, 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 good one, let, let him go. Like that, it would have been all international mess. But at the end of the day, like I don't even know for certain now. Like you can't trust nobody, right? If if they if, if this was all they could do for somebody for Britney, uh, for for Britney, then. Then who's to say if it was LeBron or Chris Paul? What would they Nigga, if do? LeBron went over to Russia tomorrow, he could bring a weed pen, an ounce, two bags of cocaine, and bring vodka back home, nigga. They ain't gonna mm-hmm. touch him. The, I feel you, but at the same time, the world is just getting worse. The world is just getting worse. The shit that you don't think could happen is, is happening now. Right. Lives are changing shit Dude look No one I didn't If you would have told me Like look When Biden gets uh, elected He'll have people on fucking horseback With whips Whipping Haitians Trying to get across the border If you would have told me that I'd have been like If Trump ain't do it Biden gonna do it Nah Y'all said he's He's gonna save us from racism So of course he wouldn't do something So blatantly racist Look Look that happened though, right? Right. 
you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just calling out both. I'm just calling out all of this shit. Like, it's a bad look. Stop assigning fucking racism to people' names and, and look at the fucking system. Because that's what's failing shit. Right. Everything is getting worse. I, I, if LeBron went over there, I don't know what would have happened. Might try to make an example out of him. Who who knows? I, I don't trust him to help anything. And when LeBron makes his comments, he's not making it better for himself because they don't. I, I know America and the media and the president didn't like the fact that he said that Britney should reconsider coming back to America. <laughs> so when you, you look at that, so it's like I, I feel you, but I don't even know. It's not like a hundred percent guaranteed thing. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, like, uh, maybe ninety percent. <laughs> pretty much now, I'm just waiting for the other shoe drop. Because I mean, as of right now, you know, they say she's in good spirits. But like I said, if something happens to Brittany, like you know, let's just say, you know, because we don't know. I mean, rush, depending on what type of prison she's in, like, what happens if something happens to her like that? Then the U.S. Six five I mean, two eight. Like, it's straight. She's gonna be leading the pen. She's gonna be leading the pen. So are they gonna make like a, a undisputed basketball movie over there or some shit? <laughs> right. <laughs> like cause that that's what Rome is kinda angling at. Like like somebody really gonna be like like a, like a little women's pri- a women's Russian prison league. She be the basketball. coach. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get <laughs> on some coach carter shit. <laughs> Yo, It'd I be know. like undisputed. It'd be <laughs> on some like how they was like, you know, what if Mike Tyson actually had the you know, went to prison and then he had to fight the heavyweight champion prison. And, and he's like, you know what? Let's make a movie. You could do that. Uh, uh we could get a uh, Wesley Snipes, uh, Ving Rhames, and yeah, like there you go. But, I mean, no, I, I, feel like, I feel like I feel like she'll be straight. She's gonna be power boss in that bitch. She's gonna be power boss. I mean, I, I'm sure. I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> gonna, they're gonna make a movie about all this shit, regardless. I mean, that's how it is. Yeah. You know, Hollywood is not, no idea is original, so we're gonna see a movie like this probably within the next couple of years on this changing some shit around <laughs> obviously yeah i mean we ain't even it's just it's ring gang like we'll say serious shit and we'll joke but we not making a lot of this it's some real shit it's just right she life played, is just so she fucked played, up now she she knows she speaks russian you know she can get by over there imagine if it was just a regular nigga that went over there yeah that'd be even worse just mm-hmm. in russia you know you're just a nigga in russia like, if it was a regular nigga, they would have you fighting already. They would have put some boots on you and a gun and <laughs> yeah. drop you over to Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. It, like I said, it, it's just a whole fucked up situation, and it's just like, like I said, now we just now it's just pretty much a day to day thing because I mean, clearly, clear right now, I mean, you know, the that's American- what life is reduced to now. Just a day to day thing. You can't fucking plan ahead to have dreams, hopes. This country, the world is shit now. For 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 this to be going on, this the world has hit a low, 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 low. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't disagree. You really can't. <laughs> that, unless, and that's unless, the sad part. <laughs> unless you're in the clouds of spring or you're living under a fucking rock, it's it's the truth. Yeah, unless you want some pilot juice or some shit, nigga. It's like yeah, <laughs> like you know, it, 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 it's, it's it's fucked up, like. Think about like all the shit that we've been talking about and saying, like, and just, ah, it's just only getting worse, man. So, yeah, and that's only just, and this is only <sighs> just, and that's only one. I mean, there are other things obviously we can harp on that how this world is is just going to hell in the handbasket. But that's not, yeah. and that might actually be a future, not a future topic because there's a whole lot of shit. But this Britney Griner shit is just, this one thing. Like, it, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. Like, you know, like, nah, you know, it does punishment it. for the crime is just, it's all fucked up because we all because. We know where it's where you know where it's coming from you know it's remind, remind you black people we not protected in this country but we're like public enemy number one there's no damn uh bill to protect us you know agents got a the hate bill there's no black there's no you know hate bill for uh for black folks even though we, we own a dangerous species list mm-hmm no, there's not even a bill for all the Karen shit that's been going on that's still going on today. Like that should be actually be something like right now. Like Yeah, it should be, but will it no? Yeah, that TO shit I saw Terrell and with the white lady. 
Yeah, it's like yeah. all this shit is going on. Like, you know, not, not even that shit is not, not, not even that shit is being taken seriously. And if it wasn't for the fact that we have cameras on our phones and we can record shit in real yeah. time, like this. this but like, I, I got a theory about that though. About the whole Karen shit. What's up, bro? What's here? And this might be on some. I know some people might look at this and take it the wrong way. It's coming at y'all a little different. But as a whole, black people, we not mean anymore. Mm. We stopped being angry. Mm. Mm. We stopped having a chip on our shoulders. And the reason why I say that is because if you're old enough, you'll remember, especially if you lived in the 90s, there was a time and place where a white person wouldn't even walk up to a random black person and berating them and asking questions and shit. Yes, sir. Couldn't say shit to you. Wouldn't even want to look at you. Wouldn't want to look at you. Like, and I'm not saying on some racist shit. I'm just saying on some like, to leave these niggas alone. I'm just here. I'm just trying to get to my car, get home, see my family. Nigga, I was right. born in 95, but I seen the movies, nigga. I seen the clip. You seen yeah. it and the vibe. Something happened within the 90s to like 2005 or six, where something happened where I know black people collectively. Oh, you know what it was? It was like 2007 when it became a law where you can't beat your kids. Now, it's, it's not that because I'm talking about our essence, our aura. Like black people, like we started making too much money, moved to the suburbs, started sending our kids to too many better schools. The rapping got less political, le- less political, less conscious. It got less angry. It was more get into your feelings. Let's be nerds. Let's embrace being pussies and or embrace being drug addicts. Drug addicts or, or wimps and it just everybody gets a fucking constellation prize. Everybody, we started embracing this whole like like random white people ain't just go up to black people like this man they see they they collectively saw black people just not be as mean and tough anymore that chip on our shoulder that and the and the wild thing is this shit only took a generation to do it <laughs> we won okay, okay so i'm not so you see what i'm saying then right yeah Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm in my forties, bro. You already, you know I see what like, you cause, mean. Cause I'm just like, cause honestly, there used to be times like when you like, dude, like my pops used to always RIP ride. He used to be like, look, when you walk somewhere, look determined and about your business. He said all this shit with this caring shit coming up, black people looking too happy, too soft, too too domesticated. He you said, know, I was wondering. He said, you don't see Karen's niggas, doing niggas, that shit to no hood rats. Niggas always be asking me, like, why don't you smile more? You should smile. I'm like, yo. Give me a, I'm, no, we not smiling I'm because they don't put the smile bow. What y'all asking? You walking up? I don't know you. And I could and I could greet you at work and be respectful and polite without having to fucking smile like a goddamn coon picking cotton. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, it's like I mean people should just mind their own business. Like mind yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the big thing. If you don't mind, like people, people don't mind their business no more. I was like, this is why, like I said, you know, because like, n- niggas talking is about looking it. soft. Niggas is looking. People is looking at their phone, head in the clouds. They got their earbuds on, and 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 motherfuckers and, and white people just y'all see they embrace the MMA, all this shit. They collectively got more confidence, or whatever it is, to approach you niggas in the streets like this. Because I don't know what it is Because Certain places like Ain't no fucking white person Gonna be fucking approaching me Asking me shit And I've always seen videos Where I'm like 
how the fuck are you looking and walking if a goddamn random ass person gonna just ask you stupid shit when you about to go into your house? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah if, uh, you know, uh, you can find some good bitch around here? Like, niggas, no, get the fuck off my board. Yeah. And they not even asking you random questions. They act, they telling you, hey, you don't live here, boy. What you doing over here? Like, they talking greasy to you. Like, where are your papers, boy? Like, you know. Yeah, like, like, uh, 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 you show the fucking Spartacus sword to show that you free. Like, well, like I a nigga be walking come. in the neighborhood. Hey, do you live here? Like, who the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> who the fuck? Hey, who the fuck the is this? White people never, though, tell you, white people weren't doing that shit in the 90s. Going to house and call the police. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 or, listen, I mean, or they would fucking cross the fucking street and hold their goddamn purse and wait till you walk the fuck by. Oh, yeah. well, like that motherfucker I mean, asking I, 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 me, goddamn, uh, hey, do you live here? Is this your car? Yeah. I mean, I wish that. I mean, cause I, I mean, I live in a nice area and I like and I, I like taking my walks around it because you know, nigga like to get his exercise and shit. I, 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 I wish someone would actually come up to me and be on like, oh, say, where do you live? What are you doing here? Type of shit. Oh, yeah. and, and, and these motherfuckers is will entertain this shit and and answer these questions like they at Interpol office. Like, nigga, I live here, motherfucker. Walk away. That's it. I, 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 on the second floor, how do you know Randy? I, I don't know Randy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, like the shit. The, 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 the niggas just perverse going back and forth. Like, bro, it's a time where you can't really throw hands like that. Because I, I come into problems all the time where I be like, yeah, I should just throw hands. But, all the hell. Well, like, like I said, that's when the camera comes in, like I said, because the second, if I ever get protested in the second that something is wildly, you know, something wildly offensive or appropriate, yeah, you know, hands might have to get thrown. But like, that's what I'll be saying, like, this, 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 whole, this whole shit is fucked up. I'm not going to converse and go back and forth with you. I'm, you I'm ask gonna, me, I'm, I'm going to give you the answer and leave. Yeah, walk away. Like, these dudes be fucking... Like, that's, like, no, I'm not yeah. going to like, nigga, go with your name, nigga. Right. Shoot, every video Y'all I see, say that, niggas, nigga, every, nigga, every nah. other day on Twitter, there's niggas fighting. Like niggas still fight. Niggas ain't fighting like that. Niggas, uh, niggas got them little purses around their neck with the fucking guns in them, with the little baby Glocks, and they just blast. And every time they get mad, niggas is wearing fucking designer outfits with purses, walking around shooting niggas like hoes in the westerns. Like this shit is crazy. See, okay, and keep game. See, I don't walk around arguing with hoes. So you know what? I'm not gonna end up arguing with hoe ass niggas. Right. <laughs> See, and that's the problem. Motherfuckers is talking and back and forth conversing two fucking months now. Niggas ain't about their purpose. Back in the day, you go to the goddamn store, you get out the car, you walk in, get your shit. Now niggas is on the phone doing live, <laughs> doing this, doing that, in the car. Yo, I oh, seen it. Shit. I seen a video the other day of a person walked out to a person sleeping in their car. Like, how do you even record it? Like, how do you not come outside and just... You gonna put your camera in like somebody else sleeping in my car and let's go to the window. Roll down the window, hey, what you doing in my wheel? Like, nigga, no! You snatch the nigga out and beat that nigga's brains out. Drag him in that car. Yo, everybody's acting like they're in their own personal reality TV show or some shit. The fuck out of here! Like. And, and 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 the wild thing is, that, I mean, like the internet and shit made this world smaller, but it just seems like now everyone's like, but like, seems like it made everyone's personal space smaller. Like everyone has like silos. It's like no, like let's like say nothing is just like nothing. No, there's no progression. Like I mean, the world the world is getting smaller, but everyone's personal, everyone's silos are just what they are. Every like there's no awareness, no nothing, and this is why. We have Britney Griner situation shit happening, and it looks like it's not the first time it's gonna happen, and it's not going to be the last time this is happening. And 
you know, it's sad to say. Like, like I said, you said you just got to wait until the other shoe drops for you know for any more nonsense of this. Nature. So the what what other shoe drop though? Like what? I think niggas are taking vacations to Russia anytime soon. So I don't think this shit. Yeah, let me know. Look, there'll always be some other country. Hell, our own country. Mm -hmm. We just talked about the Karen shit. Like, motherfucker could walk outside now and then get hemmed up by some stupid shit. Yeah. And there's niggas getting locked up over trees every day. Right. And and, and motherfucker just complaining about this Britney situation. Like, America, y'all got so much splaining y'all gotta do. Right. You know, but yeah, but yeah, I think I think I think we got a lot off our chest on that situation. Though. Yeah, yeah, but, definitely. You know, um, hold, yeah, hold so, your head, Brittany. Like this is fucked up, yo. Yeah, like I said though, and like it, def- we definitely hold her down on this on this situation, man. But uh, yeah, like we we had to get that real shit off before you know we talk about some other shit. You know, that's for that's that's for sure because uh, and yeah, if you agree with us, yeah, you know, great. You know, make sure you spread you, you spread the word to everyone that you know who actually listens to this, who listens to this. You know, and uh, and yeah. if you don't agree with us, well, you know what? We don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <God> damn. <laughs> Facts. Everything mm-hmm. is said for 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 agreement. Sometimes. Right. Exactly. Sometimes shit just need to be said. Absolutely. Oh man, but um, yeah. So I guess we we'll go segue to our.